What's up guys, here at the Como store in Whistler with Andreas. Hey guys, what's going on? And today we're going to be looking at Yes Snowboards. Now they're designed in Whistler, for Whistler. Yeah, here in British Columbia. Okay, so the first board that we got here is the Yes Standard. Yeah man, this is a mainstay to the Yes line. This board's a great all-rounder if you're looking for one board to handle a little bit of everything. It's their camber profile underfoot, but then a little bit of a rocker in the tip and the tail for flotation and turning initiation. And it's also utilizing their volume twin shape, which means that as far as the contact points go from tip to tail, the board is 100% twin. But the portion that's not actually on the ground in the tip here is slightly longer than the tail. So when the board encounters deeper snow, that front shovel activates, giving it better flow. Yeah, as soon as you hit that powder, it's just gonna sink the tail down, raise up the nose, and you're gonna be able to float through. Yeah. But if you're not in it, it doesn't do that. It just rides like a nice true twin. Not a true twin, but a twin. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it still feels twin in the park. Other cool thing to mention is it's got the mid bite on here where you can actually see in the mid portion of the board, yeah, it actually indentates in. And what that does is it's trying to give you, again, the best of both worlds. Under here, where the mid bite actually occurs, the board can now transition edge to edge much faster. It feels super nimble, super quick, really easy to make those micro adjustments when you're lining something up. And then in the tip and the tail of the board, it gets wider again. And that wider shovel in the tip and the tail is gonna give you better, is gonna give you better flotation when you're in deeper snow. And it's also gonna give you more reliability on your edges. So you can really lay into your edge when you're in a turn and feel that uh, it's gonna hold on. They actually have the insert to drop back your bindings into the last powder stance. Oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? So most of the time you're gonna use them here at your reference points, but on a powder day, if you really wanna slam back your bindings, you can take it to these back inserts and uh, really get the flotation that you want. So next up, we've got the Optimistic family of boards here. This is the tried and true classic Optimistic. And this is a new board to this season called the Y, which is a slightly underbuilt Optimistic. Maybe for the person who's slightly less aggressive or more of that intermediate range. But these boards are awesome for two things. They slay at carving, and then they also work really well in the deeper snow because of their tapered shape. How do they slay at carving? What is it about the design that makes it so good at carving? So you've got a couple of things going on here. You can see when you look at these boards, they've got that nice sort of pintail tail and then a much wider front shovel. I like that tail. So that creates sort of a pintail effect. If you've ever ridden like a pintail skateboard, for example, you get a lot of that real quick turning feel because the tail is narrower. And then the other thing, they have one of their different uh, side cuts for yes, which is the underbite. Yeah, the underbite is definitely gonna make this thing carve awesomely. It initiates a turn really easily, and then it also redistributes the pressure from under your insert points out closer towards the contact points, making the board feel more stable. It's sort of like every brand has their variation of edge technology. So in Burton, they use frostbite edges. Mm -hmm. In LibTech, they use magnet traction. In this brand, they're using underbite or midbite. And all of these technologies add contact points to the board. So when you add contact points, it makes the board you know, more grippable on ice. Mm. This one's a cam rock? Yeah, so this guy's got a camber under the foot with a rocker tip and tail. The rocker and the tip and tail make it maybe a little bit less hooky, more forgiving feeling. And then it's also got the uh, the kind of mid-range base. It's fat, it's the... Yeah, centered it spec. Centered spec base. Yeah, so still, still centered. So still really good, not quite as light as the true yeah, centered. Yeah, it's, it's not it's as basically, high end as their centered true, but... But from a layman, yeah. it's basically the same. Yeah, they say it feels very similar. Okay. Yeah. And then this one is full camber, and it's got four mils of camber, so yeah, it's gonna be a bit more aggressive, maybe a little bit hookier for somebody that's doing a bit more charging. Tell us about the bamboo. The bamboo, they got bamboo inserts to help with their pop, but with the Optimistic, they have wrapped in carbon as well. So it basically gives extra snap, extra pop back, extra aggression when you're doing jumps, carves, the nine out of 10 for stiffness, so. 
One of their stiffest boards. It's, it's, it's got an explosive amount of pop. It's just charging and slamming those oh, moguls wow. into next Wednesday. Pam. I've ridden the Optimistic before. It's fantastic. It's a wicked carving board. It feels stiff. It feels responsive, aggressive. It's really got that premium feel. So yeah, this one's like the more intermediate kind of range. Bit, uh, bit easier with the profile, a little bit softer. And this one's the hard charging, full high spec. But both really good boards. So next up we have like one of the original Volume shifted powder boards. Yeah. 420. Kevin's board. Kevin's first powder board when none of us had powder boards. This was the first one back in the blue. Definitely. This sort of started the uh, short and wide phenomenon, giving you the same amount of surface area of a longer board, but you can ride it much shorter in the sense that it's much wider. And what that does is it makes for a board that feels super surfy, really nimble in the trees really easy to make some tight turns while still maintaining all that float. You guys cut flat with the rocker, mild rocker. And this has the weightless core. What the heck was the weightless core again? The weightless core, Chris, was where they've redistributed both poplar and polonia. So in the areas where they need the board to be reinforced and more stable, they've used polonia wood. And then in the areas of the board where, you know, it's you not- just use whatever. Yeah, where it's not as integral, <laughs> yeah. that's where they're using- A low density. Poplar. Poplar. Yeah, so high end centered base. And it's like know, a mid flex. It's gonna hold a lot of wax. You do have to take care of it though. You gotta wax this sucker. About five out of 10 on the flex. Yeah, so it's nice and nice the powder, old. surfy. Carving. It carves well. I wouldn't say, like, I would say that flat boards are definitely great at initiating turns and they're more forgiving, but they don't hold as well as a full camber. And probably, you say this is their most powder specific. Yeah, out of the ones here. Out of the ones here, yes. Yeah. A lot of boards have copied this shape, right? Yeah. Like, this is merging the 420 with. The pick your line, line right? Yeah. So you get camber with this. So this is like great for powder and resort. This is like slightly more surfy, making it its own thing. Right. And you could argue that being more surfy, this might be better for someone who wants that more forgiving feel, or maybe who wants accessibility to tighter areas like trees or really mogul areas, for example. All right, so tell us about the hybrid. So this is going to be a hybridization of the Pick Your Line, which is a classic board in their lineup. It's DCP's Pro model, and the 420, the board that we just spoke about. So you're getting a little bit of both stories. You're getting a bigger volume because the board's a lot wider, and with that bigger volume, the board floats really well, can be undersized slightly, and holds an amazing edge. A Camrock profile, it's a 141 profile, which means that the camber is lifted by four millimeters under the foot. And then a really mild rocker. And then a really mild rocker yeah. in the tip and the tail. So it's like almost a camber, because they do like 242, yeah. and they do 232, and yeah. 141 is their most cambered version. It's just slightly gradually rockered. And then it has this tapered underbite. Yes. A tapered underbite. We're getting into a whole other one now. So the underbite comes in, whoop, and then comes in again, whoop. But then the board kind of like comes back out in the tail so that you can still really whip it out of a turn. It's really gonna handle both powder and resort. Great for both carving and for that person who wants that slightly wider profile for flotation and overall versatility. It'd be a bit weird switch with that tapered directional underbite. Yes, but it will still ride switch, yeah. The 420 is gonna be more for that person who wants to go, you know, exploring in tight areas like trees or moguls. This guy is maybe a little bit more capable when you're just on a hard pack resort day. And then next up, we have a board that a lot of people have been asking about, which is, yes, the Greats. And this is their ASIM board. Yeah, ASIM twin aggressive park board. If you guys don't know what that is, they just make a more aggressive side cut on the heels to make it easier for when you're carving on your heels as opposed to your toes and just make the overall two more similar feeling. 
This board's the type of board that you want to be taking into the park and hitting big features, big jumps, yeah. big stuff. It's a stiff twin. Biggie so smalls. Definitely great for going big, hitting big jumps. You know, definitely like a black park kind of board. Right. Or switch. For, yeah, or for the person who just wants like a great carving board that's still twin. And then this has some other ASIM features. Yes, it's got ASIM mid-bite. So there's mid-bite in this board, which is where they make that indentation in the mid-portion of the board, creating that narrower effect, making the board easier to go edge-to-edge, -edge, making it feel more nimble. But in this case, that mid-bite is reflected asymmetrically. So you can see it's actually very aggressive, and it cuts in quite deeply on the heel edge. And that's one of the things that you can really see when looking at it there. They added that not this season, but it was new to last year. Nice. Yeah. And it has an extra stringer in the heels as well. Now on the back here, they have this giant pig with the unink. Unink stands for unincorporated, and it comes from back in the day, Burton had a specific team that they called the Unink team. The line of boards, it was only one board, but for every different size, it had a different top sheet. And the one thing that they stipulated that they wanted was that they didn't want any branding or logos on the board. And the Unink team, when they left Burton, they became Yes. They turned into Yes. Yeah, so Yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Burton was kind enough to allow them to continue the use of the Unink Pig. And so you'll see that Unink Pig as an iconic graphic in the Unink series. So, newly redesigned for 2020 is the 2020. The 2020 Powder Hall. They've redesigned the Powder Hall this year. So, in years previous, the Powder Hall went all the way out to the end of the tip and the tail. Now, they've put the powder hull in, directly in the tip and the tail, but then the regular base structure returns back to a normal snowboard at the outermost point of the tip and the tail. So it gives it a more natural feel. More predictable. You get the powder hull where you need it, creating that lift where you want it, but then right at the end of the board here, you go back to sort of a more normal tip and tail, which gives you better predictability. You get better launches, you get better side hits, you get a better loaded ollie. So the powder hull is designed to create lift in the front of the board. You can see there's this concave shape here in the front of the board. So you get that lift in powder. It's literally the wind blowing underneath it and lifting it up. And then the same shape in the tail creates a natural draft. So the tail sinks as the snow displaces, and the shovel always gives you that lift and float in the front. It's designed to be ridden a little bit shorter, so it's definitely wider underfoot to give you better flotation, to make the board feel really stable when you're laying it into a carve, so that mid-bite creates that more narrow mid-portion of the board, making it really easy to go edge to edge and transition but then giving it that that's little a, bit of a- That's a wide. Yeah, wider, wide more stable tip and tail. And then with the the weightless core, which is how they do the powder hull, there's no core here, hence why you can like almost see through it. This is just resin, and that reduces the weight. It's going to allow you, A, to make the board feel like it's more nimble, it's easier to steer, it's easier to arc around. And then when you're doing rotations in the air with less swing weight, it's easier to rotate faster. Yeah, guys, I got to ride this board last year during demo day. It was an absolute treat. I rode it through the trees, I rode it on groomered runs, it carved really nicely, it was super nimble, and it handled powder awesome. I only had it in maybe like 10 centimeters of powder, but still it was enough powder to feel the powder hull activate. Yeah, so this is the ladies board from the Yes lineup that we like to bring in here to the shop. It's for your aggressive lady rider who wants, you know, that hard charging, more capable snowboard, goes everywhere, and is very versatile because of its cam rock shape. Camber under the foot gives you all of the stability for, you know, nice hard carving, also gives you great landings and pop, but then you get a little bit of that rocker in the tip and the tail for ease of use, for turning initiation, and for flotation. So this thing's pretty capable, it goes everywhere. Speaking of carving, it's got the underbite profile as well. Yeah, so like we said before, underbite helps to redistribute that pressure further outwards on the board. For the type of lady who's gonna be rocking 
the BC terrain. Been riding Whistler maybe a few years, wants to go up to that next level, higher end, intermediate to advanced level board. So last but not least, super excited to talk about the Yes Now collab binding. You're getting two wicked brands that were both designed here in Whistler, British Columbia. And what's awesome about the Now bindings is that they were designed by JF Pelchat with skate tech technology. Right here in the middle, you actually get a little bit of a moving fulcrum. And what that does is it emulates the way that skateboard trucks feel when you'd be riding a skateboard. So you get really good pressure deliverance directly to your edges, therefore giving you really good power on your edges. Those bits, they're carbon. Carbon ratchets. But I do like on the toe, uh, it says now. Yeah, cool. it's a really cool toe cap. Yeah. Now toe. So Andreas, which board would you get? Oh man, I think I would definitely pick the 2020. It's just so unique. It's its own cool thing. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> the powder hull has been reinvented. It's pushing the snow out the way in terms of new types of technology and, and new ideas in a board. Yeah, it's the only brand sort of utilizing a powder hull. I've not tried an ASIM board, so I do want to try one. And this is one of the, like the coolest ASIM boards. Yeah, definitely. So if you guys are asking after the ASIM, here you are. She's a beaut. Guys, I can't bring in every single board from every single company. So, you know, some, some brands we squeeze down that line to the ones that we think specifically will work really good for here. Yeah. All right, thanks to Andres and Comor for letting me come down here and check out some of the Yes 2020 lineup. If you guys want to come and check out some of the boards, come down to Whistler here on Main Street, talk to Andreas, give him a high five, show him some love. And you guys, make sure you check out some of the other reviews that we've done. Uh, Lip Tech, GNU. Nitro. Nitro. Jones. Jones, oh man, I miss Jones. And uh, the three best boards from the three brands. Yeah. And yeah, lots of stuff, check them out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out Andreas' channel. And we will see you guys in the next video soon. See you guys. Thanks, Andreas. Ow!